The 14-year-old Aiken boy who was shot in the neck is still in critical condition tonight. As we reported, Dawson Van Portfleet was accidentally shot in his neck, in, in his neck by his father with a 40 caliber handgun and he was rushed to the intensive care unit at Hennepin County Medical Center on Sunday. Our Scott Sheehan has more in Aiken. Police tell us it happened here in a quiet part of Aiken on Sunday when 14-year-old Dawson Van Portfleet was accidentally shot in the neck by his father. Police say they're still investigating why Dennis Van Portfleet's gun went off, but they say at the moment there's no threat to the community. Certainly not. Uh, first evidence I've seen of a gun uh, in, uh, in their household, so it isn't something that they were involved with all the time or outside that I'm aware of. But of course we don't know, and, and a happenstance being what it is, uh, tragedy. Dawson had just recently started working at Aiken's Roadside Family Restaurant as a dishwasher, working alongside his dad who's a cook there. His boss, who wasn't comfortable talking with us on camera, said within one month of working, Dawson had become one of his better workers. And Walk says Dawson's only a few merit badges away from becoming an Eagle Scout. Uh, he's worked hard at it, done a good job. His dad was very involved with it. Take care of business. I don't know that that makes it more of a tragedy, but uh, good people. Monday evening, the community gathered in support of Dawson during a candlelight vigil. And members of the community have already started donating to the family's GoFundMe page to raise money to pay for Dawson's medical bills. Everybody wants to help. So the issue is, can we narrow it down and identify a particular need that maybe we can get behind and, and see what we can do? Friends, neighbors, and co-workers we talk to say they're happy Dawson is still alive and hope to see him home soon. In Aiken, Scott Sheehan, Lakeland News. Now, a post on the family's GoFund site tonight indicates that Dawson has now died, but hospital officials we spoke to less than 30 minutes ago say that is not true and that Dawson remains in critical condition at the hospital. If you'd like more information about how to donate to help the family, you can visit our links page on our website, LPTV. Org. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.